If you're a Microsoft and a technology fan, then this week's going to be pretty awesome. We've got the March 2021 Microsoft Ignite conference kicking off. And the good thing is, it's completely free to everyone. So if you haven't already registered, make sure you go ahead and do that. That way you can get completely involved with what all the conferences got to offer and hopefully be able to connect with all sorts of people within our industry. So really exciting week. And I want to just give you the top five sessions that I'm looking forward to at Ignite. Okay, so we're now here on the Microsoft Ignite website. And before we get to my top five, there's just like two sessions that I wanted to give an honorary mention. First of all, as you would imagine, is the Satya Nadella keynote. And this year, it looks like we got something pretty interesting up our sleeve. I mean, I have absolutely no idea what it's going to be. But just reading this here, one of a kind keynote, we've got Alex Technica Fellow from Mixed Reality. And we're saying that we're going to be participating online or experience a keynote in Altspace VR. I wasn't too familiar with Altspace VR, so there is an FAQ. If you click the link, it gives you some information. You know, this is a experience ranging from arena-sized concerts to specialized meetups, so on and so forth. You'll also find some information here about how this works on how you can you know, attend the keynote from Oculus Rift to Quest and so on and so forth. So I don't know what we have in store for this keynote, but it sounds like it's going to be pretty exciting. Next up is a session from Mark Vasunovich. And I don't know if they're always called the same, in this case, Inside Azure Data Center Architecture, but Mark always does a session where we get to hear about all the latest innovations in Azure Data Center Architecture. And I personally find these sessions fascinating and Mark is a, a brilliant presenter. So I'm sure this one's going to be great again. I'm just going to leave this in here as an honorary mention because I just think everyone will find this interesting. All right, so let's now move on to my top five. So first up on my top five is the hybrid workplace. And I'm really excited about this session because let's be honest, all of us has been impacted on the way we work. Most of us are working from home, maybe depending where you are. Maybe some of your offices are starting to open. However, I think this session is going to be jam-packed with hopefully a load of information about what Microsoft has seen and is doing within this hybrid workplace. And I'm hoping there's some Microsoft Viva sprinkled in there to really start learning about our employee experience platform. So I think this is going to be an exciting session. So that's number one. So for my second session, I've chosen the latest innovations with Microsoft Teams. Well, as Teams has exploded, millions and millions of people have started making Teams as really that central place for getting work done. Well, I can't think of a more interesting session than learning about what the latest innovations are. I mean, we're seeing rapid development. Every month, every week, I'm hearing about new features. So I'm really excited to see what we've got in store for this session for Microsoft Teams. So number three, I've chosen how to implement full lifecycle security for Azure Kubernetes service. And the reason I've chosen this is because Kubernetes has exploded. I mean, I talk to customers day in, day out, and every development team is trying to work out, or a lot of development teams are trying to work out how to start using microservices for that application. But what I find is the development teams move very fast, but how does the security team keep up with that? So I'm hoping in this security session, it's gonna be a great resource to give to different security teams to make sure that all these AKS and Kubernetes environments are secure, you know, as we can see here, for the full life cycle of that application. So let's look at number four. So for number four, and I'm super pumped about this, is enable unified data governance with Azure Purview. And Azure Purview has recently announced, so I'm really excited for this session because there's never really been a more important time where data is exploding in all companies to make sure that you have that full up-to-date map of your data landscape. And we can see here, we're gonna be looking at how to govern from on-prem to the cloud or multi-cloud to software as a service, and then being able to do things which traditionally has been so difficult from things like end-to-end -end data lineage to data classification and automated data discovery. So, you know, I think this is gonna be a fantastic session. 
I'm super excited for it. And I don't think there's many things more topical than governing your data in 2021. So let's move to number five. So last up, number five, we've got Microsoft Teams and Dynamics 365, the unified collaboration platform for the modern business. And I'm excited about this one for the reason that we just talked about earlier was Microsoft Teams has exploded and everyone started to bring you know, the applications, data in a Microsoft Teams and use that as a central productivity app in the workplace. Well, that's why I think this session is gonna be really interesting because we're trying to look at how do we seamlessly integrate dynamics? And you can see we're talking about things like integrating marketing, sales, customer service, field service, and so on and so forth. So if I could bring all of those different things into Teams and make it a seamless experience, that's going to save everyone so much time and improve productivity. So I want to see what we're doing here and how we're making this a seamless experience for businesses of all sizes. All right, so that's my top five. One last pro tip is I want to make sure that if you're going to watch Microsoft Ignite, is that you try and get outside of your comfort zone. You can see here that I've got things from Azure to Dynamics to Teams. Well, Look, if you're already today an Azure expert, try to learn something else. Go learn about Dynamics or Teams or something else in the Microsoft ecosystem that you might find exciting. Because to me, this is such a great time to learn and connect with other professionals and leading industry thought leaders about these different technologies. Well, with that last tip, I want to make sure that I wrap this up. So thanks for watching. If you've enjoyed it, make sure you like, subscribe, and we'll see you next time for another video.